The federal government said the use of force would be the last result should the coup plotters in Niger Republic refuse to surrender. The permanent secretary, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Adamo Lamua, stated this on Friday at a briefing session on the current political situation in Niger Republic and the ECOWAS sub-region organized by the Ministry for the Diplomatic Corps. In addition to a one-week ultimatum to restore constitutional order and the suspension of financial transactions with Niger, ECOWAS decreed the freezing of all service transactions, including energy transactions. The steps so far taken by ECOWAS authority demonstrate the reality in the region that the worst, from, the worst form of democracy is still better than the best military dictatorship. Likewise, the condemnation of the coup in Niger by the international community is a welcome development. The swift reaction by the international community is a huge testimony to the preference for democracy and constitutional rule to any form of governance. Consequently, Nigeria and indeed ECOWAS calls upon the international community to remain resolute on that stance and continue to show solidarity with ECOWAS for affirming the superiority of democratic and constitutional rule. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.